Welcome to the Quick Start Tutorial Series for Rhino 3D Print 2015, brought to you by Mechsoft. Today we'll be using the Offset and Split tools to create a part with a uniform wall thickness. We will perform the following basic steps to complete this tutorial. First, we'll launch Rhino 3D Print and then open the part file. Then, we'll diagnose the mesh for possible problems. We'll use Stitch and Close to combine and fix the mesh. Then, we'll use Offset Mesh to create a uniform wall thickness. To complete the tutorial, we'll split and cap the mesh. Let's begin by launching the Rhino 3D Print module. From the main menu, select Rhino 3D Print and then Browser from the drop-down menu. Docked on the left you will see the Rhino 3D Print Browser. There is a ribbon bar at the top with five tabs. The Create tab contains mesh creation tools. The Model tab contains mesh editing tools. The Inspect and Modify tab contains analysis and additional editing tools. The Repair tab contains various tools for fixing your mesh. The 3D Print tab contains tools for fitting checking and exporting your mesh to a 3D printer. For now, select the Create tab. Now, let's load the part model for this tutorial. From the Rhino Standard Toolbar, select the folder icon. Find the part file named 3dmold.3dm located in the Quick Start folder and then pick Open. From the browser, we see that this model contains over 400 individual mesh objects. From the Rhino Display Properties tab, uncheck Mesh Wires so we can see the model more clearly. The first thing we want to do is perform some diagnostics. From the browser, select the Repair tab and then the Diagnose tool. Now window select the entire mesh model and press enter. The diagnose dialog will appear below the browser. Using the default selections, pick the run checks button. We see that three sets of checks are performed. These include edges, triangles, and vertices. The results of each check are color coded for easy recognition on the mesh model. For example, Diagnose found over 30,000 open edges, which are assigned the color red by default. For now, we'll pick the Cancel icon to close the Diagnose dialog. We can fix the open edge problem pretty quickly. From the browser, select the Repair tab and then the Stitch and Close tool. Now, Windows select the entire mesh model again and then press Enter. The mesh is repaired automatically. We notice in the browser that there is now only one mesh in the data tree with a total of over 150,000 facet triangles. With the mesh still selected, we'll select the Diagnose tool again and then pick Run Checks to see the new results. We see that we now have zero open edges. Pick the Cancel icon to close the Diagnose tool. Now that we have only one closed mesh, let's offset it to create a uniform wall thickness. From the browser, select the Model tab and then select Offset. Select the mesh and then press Enter to display the offset dialog. We'll set the offset distance to 0.1. Then we'll set the tolerance to 0.01 and then pick Offset. Now we see that a second mesh was added to the data tree that is an offset of the first. We can see the difference clearly on the screen by unchecking and checking each mesh individually. Now that we have a uniform wall thickness, let's split the mesh. We'll go back to the Model tab and then select Split. Select both meshes and then press Enter to display the split dialog. The upper portion of the dialog contains a slider that allows you to control the split plane location. You can move the split plane, shown graphically on the screen, by adjusting the slider between the min and the max of the mesh's bounding box. Section curves, shown in red, are dynamically updated as you adjust the slider. 
Notice that we are provided with a cap results option. Selecting this will ensure that once split, each section of the mesh will be a capped closed volume. Now we pick split. Once completed, we'll uncheck all but the upper mesh from the data tree and then view the results. We now have a split cavity with a uniform wall thickness. Mesh offsets can be used in a variety of applications. This completes Chapter 2 of the Quick Start Tutorial for Rhino 3D Print 2015 by Mechsoft. For further assistance, you can visit the online help supplied with the program or visit www.mechsoft.com for additional tutorials. Thank you.